Hey everybody, welcome back to Letterman Row, and we've got B.B. Landers back with us again for a Buckeye Q breaking down Ohio State, and one of his Rushman unit mates, somebody that, uh, everybody's talked about this guy's strength and his ability to dominate in the trenches <laughs> coming up, Tommy Togiai. Uh, B.B., what is it in the room that has so many guys talking about the potential for this one? Uh, the biggest thing with Tommy is outside of his strength, like, he's as strong as an ox. I make fun <laughs> of him, and I... I, I say he's the Shrek of our room. And then Davon was Thanos. We called Jay Sean the Germ. So, like, everybody kind of had nicknames. But I think the biggest thing with Tommy is he is eager to learn at all times. You know what I mean? And the one of the best things about him is also that he's able to convert the classroom to the field. And at times it's hard to do because especially when you're young, when he would start, you know, coming in his freshman year, coming in this past season, you know, at times, Coach Jay can put a lot on you. You know what I mean? It's right. Because it's, there's just so much information. He's able to break down your game in such depth that it's just unreal. And he's done a great job of taking the classroom just as serious, if not more serious, mm -hmm. than on the field. And you can see in his level of play and how he excelled throughout the course of his career so far. So, he, I mean, he's got a big year coming up because, you know, you're obviously sitting here talking with us. Devon's getting ready, you know, for the draft. Jay Sean is moving on. And there's a lot of production that needs to be replaced there. Mm -hmm. How how confident are you that Tommy is ready for a starting a big time role there? I'm very confident in Tommy. Uh, Tommy's ability to be able to start. Um, you know, he he's very football savvy, and he's a natural leader. Um, he's one of those guys that when in the beginning he kind of just sat back and just watched. And as time went on and his his knowledge of the game increased, mm -hmm. you kind of just see his personality blossom and you started to see his <laughs> game blossom. <laughs> so um, I think he's going to be just fine. <laughs> I'm ready to watch him play, me personally. It's going to be a show. All right, well, we've got a couple clips that we can watch right now before he gets ready for the future. So we're going to have B.B. Landers break it down for us on Buck IQ. Let's roll the tape. All right, B.B., look at this, uh, this big man, 72 in the middle. You, you talked about all the, way he's come, the ways he's come along. This is in a big time game for you, the Big Ten Championship game. You guys are in Indy, and you have no problem for Coach Jay putting him on the field in a big situation here. Yeah. What is it about him here? What is the key on this play? What's the read? What are you guys supposed to do? Well, to start off for you know Wisconsin, if you watch it, somebody I think might have blown the play. Mm -hmm. I don't know. You know, you see the quarterbacks kind of sitting waiting for somebody to come back. So <laughs> somebody messed up, but. The biggest thing with Tommy is you see, you know, he gets off the ball, he gets across the line of scrimmage, and one thing about Tommy is his hustle plays are phenomenal. For him to be as big as he is, the boy is athletic, mm -hmm. and he has some speed to him. And, you know, you see he doesn't give up on a play. You know, you got a lot of action cr going across your face, and when you end the game, especially at the line of scrimmage, everything is moving so fast, and you're like, okay, what's going on? So you're trying to decipher everything in a split second, and his reaction time is – like nothing I've ever seen. And, you know, he didn't, he's seeing, seeing, deciphering everything. And, you know, he sticks his foot in the ground and chases the quarterback down the line of scrimmage and gets a tackle for loss. Yeah. When you see, I mean, he has, you know, three different guys flashing across his face. That's uh, processing a lot of information in a hurry. Yeah. Big time. But, you know, he, that's the one thing about Tommy. His eyes are phenomenal. You know, he, he, he does his job. And, you know, he, one thing about, especially this play that is, Elite is the simple fact of since there is a lot going on mm -hmm. when you're that young and like he's played a decent amount of ball, but it's easy to kind of get caught up in everything. You get happy feet trying to figure out what's going on and he stays patient. Yeah. You know, being patient and especially in a game like this is not an easy thing to do. And, you know, he does a great job at it. And you see him chasing the hill line, going down the line of scrimmage and, you know, he gets a tackle for loss. A tackle for loss. So a big one. You can get some of those in a game like that. Build some momentum and feel good going into spring ball. Big this time. was earlier. This was sort of the game where people kind of realized what Tommy Togia might be able to become. This, this is just a, some of that strength that you're talking about. It's really impressive to watch. Yeah, he's a man child. But I think the biggest, <laughs> the biggest thing with this is outside of his strength, his get off. He's the first one off the ball, mm -hmm. and with him using his initial reaction to get off the ball and get into the center as fast as he can, you see he creates a completely new line of scrimmage. Mm -hmm. He has a center two yards in the backfield. That makes it very difficult, not only for the offensive line, but for a running back to find a seam that is not there. 
You know what I mean? And Tommy does a good job at escaping off of the block, coming backside and making a play. You don't see a lot of guys get off faster than number two. I mean, that's... Outside it, of me. Yeah. <laughs> but you don't. But Tommy has that speed and that ability, and that's the thing. And I think as time goes on and, and he slows the game down even more, you know, having two seasons up under his belt, having good quality games up under his belt where, you know, those are like the Wisconsin's, the mm -hmm. Penn State's, like those are games that are big time games. And when you're young, the game moves a lot faster than anything you've ever seen. And he's done a great job. Or he did a great job this season at handling the plays that he got, the tempo of the game and going into next season with him slowing the game down even more, he's going to be one of those elite guys on the line of scrimmage. Yeah, this next one, I remember people were talking about it that night, the next week, just... Oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, Look at this. you were talking about the effort plays. There's probably no better example this season from a defensive tackle, nose guard, three-tech, whatever, running down a play. He went from outside the other hash all the way across the field here. Mm-hmm. But look at this. Like, just look at his burst and his speed. And you... Sometimes it's kind of elusive watching it on film. Mm -hmm. But the boy is moving a lot faster than what you think. <laughs> I promise you. <laughs> well, that's what we've said about you too. I mean, you got a, some impressive athleticism, and it just doesn't look like you're moving that fast. It's because my legs are short, but it's okay. I make it work. <laughs> I make it work. All right. So that he is not going to have to make a lot of these plays. The next couple, those are more like what you're looking for from you guys. And yeah, you've got this huge pile. He's got three blockers come at him, and he, mm -hmm. it's all it can take to move him off the football. Yeah. The biggest thing right here with Tommy is I, that or the crit critique that I would give or, or Coach Jay would give mm -hmm. is his pads are too high. Okay. But even outside of that, he is able to still get his hands inside of the center and still kind of get up under him enough to hold. You pretty much hold the line of scrimmage by itself. Mm -hmm. That that kind of shows you his strength right there. He's a freaking nature. But he does a good job of getting a good hand fit, still continuing to drive his feet. And, you know, he, he holds it up, and it's not maybe like one-yard gain. Right. If Two-yard gain, if that. And keep him pinned back for That's one it. more, and then yep. you can make a play kind of like this next one where he – this was just his drive, I guess. This is uh, Northwestern struggling to get off the goal line, mainly because 72 won't let him. Here, That's that get off again right yep. there. There it is. No, you guys want that safety. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but, hey, sometimes you just don't get it. It's all right. And this one kind of comes back to him. I wonder uh, – you know, it's again the situation you talked about when you broke down your own film. Sometimes you've got the blitz and you've just got to go with that yeah. gap, and then the play comes to you. It's sort of an, that, that same sort of thing, right? Yeah, and it's and honestly, with this right here, it wasn't even so much as a blitz. He knows he has to stay in that a gap. Okay. And the guard comes off, and he's able to expand back and make the play. You know, the biggest thing is we got leak outside setting the edge. We got Zach Harrison in the in the c gap. And then, who is that, Tough? You Looks got like Tough, tough yeah. coming down and filling that B. You know he has that A. Mm -hmm. But once, as, at some point in time, you got to get off of the block and play ball. And that's one thing Tommy is great at doing, escaping off of blocks and playing football. And he was able to do so. And, you know, Tough coming down, filling the gap, and um, hard joining the, what is that, the center that's pulling? Looks like, yep. Yep, the pulling center. You know, he, Made a cut back to Tommy, and Tommy got off the block and made the play. That guy made a play. He made a few of them last year, playing behind Robert Landers and the rest of those rushmen. He's going to be uh, one of the guys next year heading into the 2020 season. Appreciate BB hanging out with us. Let him row for Buck IQ to break it all down. For Robert Landers, I'm Austin Ward. We'll see you next time on Buck IQ. Thanks for watching. Subscribe below to get the latest videos from Letterman Row. We got Letterman Live. We've got the practice report. We got rapid reaction. Hey, and you know we got Buck IQ with Zach Bourne. For sure. We got recruiting breakdowns with Berm. We got whatever you need. Ohio State football and Ohio State athletics. We've got you covered here at Letterman Row.